everyone so it's june 16th and if you're already from my channel then you know that i posted a video earlier today and i mentioned in that video that i was going to record other ones and post them over the next couple days however i have not done that i felt like there was a different message coming through and to just wait it out and so i have now come to the awareness that it's a message in reference to Aaron Carter and there's some sort of timing lineup that comes with why this is coming through today and so it this is very time specific so some range of of June 16th and why this is coming through which is essentially I feel from the time of his passing up until now and maybe a more extensive time after this i'm not 100 percent sure because i'm not looking is he's not given the authority to speak on his behalf entirely or even circumstances that revolve around what is going on spiritually for him or um just just major details and essentially channeling him or channeling what's going on with him on the other side um, to such a in-depth degree. Um, I know in, in essence I'm kind of saying it but it would be different. I don't know what other people are saying or what they have said in the past but I think you would see a distinct difference between what I'm uh, translating versus them. So you could essentially say that Aaron does not give the authority over you. God has your, God is your authority. So you don't necessarily have to listen to that. Um, but of course there is res respecting, uh, someone else's wishes. And in doing so, I personally believe that that's respecting God. That's respecting God's authority. Um, especially if they've passed away because they have um, a more clear channel to you if you claim to be some sort of psychic or if you're a tarot reader or if you're whatever you are. <laughs> um, and so... Yeah, that, that's what I, that's what I feel. Um, but there's also a message of gratitude to, it feels like men in particular, maybe one or two men, maybe three guys in his life, they feel blonde or like light colored hair who support him or who have supported him in uh, him crossing over and also when he was still here uh there's also like a guy who's tan i feel he has like a darker complexion and so there's just a there's a lot of love surrounding those particular individuals it feels like around three or so like less five or less um, individuals but i see blonde or like light colored haired guys and then i also see like a darker complexion guy and um yeah so basically it's just this this message of like highlighting that there has not been there hasn't been the okay and it would be very clear so these people would be picking up on demonic entities or doing it against Aaron's wishes as a spirit um, because yeah and so that would leave this person I don't know unethical and also open to 
future bad energy, something like that. I don't know. Um, basically, basically, you're just you you knew better. Like people who who would have picked up accurate energy that was not from a demonic source necessarily. Like a, a basically, I'm seeing like actual demons, and they they masking as Aaron. So that's one instance. Then there's other instances. It's like maybe one particular instance or like a couple instances where it's all like mixed information where there's a lot of inaccurate information and also some that's sort of accurate, but um, they knew better, but they don't care because they're, you know, uh, motivated by attention or money or whatever. And um, so that is, in essence, evil. So that, yeah, that's what I get um, that I, it feels relevant to say right now. And so that's what I have to say. Bye.